it's a war zone at this point. The value of a rhino horn is worth more than 10 times the value of the rhino alive. Poachers are coming in, they're well armed. Most of them are coming in in teams now and they come in with assault rifles and they don't have law holding them back. There's not a lot of technology solutions or barriers for the poachers. So our goal really is focusing on stopping it before it actually happens. Prop check. The Wildlife Conservation UAV Challenge is a challenge that is created to motivate and inspire people from around the world to create a unmanned aerial vehicle that would be used for counter-poaching purposes. Yeah. It's 137 teams in 29 different countries on six continents saying, yes, we want to be a part of this initiative. We want to help find a solution. The idea behind using a drone for counter-poaching is to get out there and try to detect the poachers before they get to the animals. With a UAV, you can actually cover a half a day's worth of walking within a matter of minutes. It's not about making a great aircraft. It's about being able to process that data on board, and that's where the new sensors and the little tiny computers and the chips become exciting. If there are poachers in the park, how many are there? Where are they located? What types of weapons are they carrying? What's their proximity to the animals? And also, what's the best route for a ranger to go there and stop the poachers? By being involved in this challenge, we're hoping to push this technology to the limit. 3D printing allows us to design platforms that are very quick and easy to produce. And the great thing about using a smartphone is that it has a number of built-in sensors already. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, has LTE communications, but the thing that we leverage the most is the camera and the processing power. Where we are now is we've developed the 3D printed plane, we've developed the apps that run on the phone, and we've got the sensors that we want to put on the system. All that remains at this point is to bring it all together, put it up in the air, and make sure that it does what we hope it does. Buzzing. It's not twitching anymore. It's just trying to fix itself. It, it, it's From it's the perspective of why we started the challenge, I'd like to see the rhino poaching numbers go down drastically. And then from the point of technology, we really hope that people are going to start yeah. seeing that a challenge can be a great way of motivating people. If we have technology, we can use it to protect the world we live in. Thank you.